Hey everyone, Old Man Pete here. God, I look terrible. Look at my hair, I got headphone hair. I look like something out of the 70s like Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars. I wasn't planning on doing a video today. I look kind of shoddy. <laughs> my, my shirt's all wrong. Oh, who cares? It's me. I'm comfortable, okay? <laughs> Well, it didn't get blocked, the last David Letterman video. I guess they're cool with it. I mean, maybe if there's like a song or a specific video clip, or maybe the quality is just so bad, it, it won't get, they won't, you know, care about it. But I want to keep doing them. They did, it didn't get a lot of views, but I want to keep doing these David Letterman clips because they're just fun and it's nostalgic and um, they're just darn funny. I, I'm, they really are. That's what it looks like when you pause a videotape. <laughs> Wait, let me put on full screen. All right, let's just have some fun. One set of circumstances will cause behavior one way, and then later it produces a result completely unthought of initially. Oh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I'm you know, there will be a mistake, yeah. and then later there will be a consequence. There will be a consequence That's of right. the mistake. That's the principle behind this brand new segment of comedy, Paul. Mistake, yeah. First, there'll be a mistake, and then it'll have a consequence, and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> Great, and Paul. On and on and on. <laughs> okay, uh, mistake number one. <laughs> Uh, John Gotti's limousine crashes into the Empire State Building. Consequence, Consequence. Mayor Dinkins apologizes for error in building placement. <laughs> wow, that's dated. I heard of John Gotti in a long time. Is he still alive? And Mayor Dinkins, wow. This is, this is from the 90s. Early, early 90s, definitely. <laughs> I see. That's how it works. I it's see. as it simple as that. That's right. And we pass the savings on to you, the uh -huh. home viewers. <laughs> Um, the second mistake, temperature in hell drops below 32 degrees. Consequence, New Jersey Nets win NBA championship. <laughs> uh, mistake, Disney lawyers forget to renew copyright on their cartoon characters. Consequence, R.J. Reynolds makes millions on new menthol goofy 100s. <laughs> uh, mistake, 7-Eleven clerk absentmindedly uh, gives service to person wearing no shirt and no shoes. <laughs> Consequence, world comes to an end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mistake thousands of Guitar World magazine subscribers received the New Yorker instead. Uh, consequence, John Updike is voted awesomest riff master in Reader's Poll. <laughs> and, and it might sound a little something like this. All right, all right, all right. Who was that? <laughs> uh, mistake number six, government cuts uh, funding for public service announcements. Consequence, a famished Woodsy the Owl starts preying on family pets. <laughs> Who remembers Woodsy the Owl? Give a hoot, don't pollute. <laughs> <laughs> These are really dated. Uh, number seven, mistake. Gene Shalit accidentally gargles with minoxidil. <laughs> and the consequence, the consequence, what, j just look at him. Uh, number eight, uh, many squirrels killed after passing through hole and highway fence. Consequence, McRibs for limited time only. <laughs> God, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that was good. That one was clever. Good McRibs deal there. Uh, number nine, mistake. I do one too many shots of tequila. Consequence, waste whole day getting my marriage to Tyne Daly annulled. Groan. I don't even know who Tyne Daly is. Uh, number ten, mistake. Eating uh, lots of greasy lard-filled foods. Consequence. Oh, that's Willard Scott. He used to be a weatherman, I think, on the Today Show. He was really big. <laughs> did, I, did I have the switch? Was I supposed to do something here? I had, I had the switch here, didn't I? I'm sorry. I was supposed to hit this switch right there, and I forgot to go. Uh, and finally, the mistake. Two Live Crew neglects to put warning sticker on new album. Consequence, Mr. Rogers found dead next to his record player. There you go. Your mistaken consequence. Recently, in order to improve my skills... The editing between the clips, it's, it's just like that. I, I did this 
literally on an old video recorder. So the clips are going to run back to back to each other. Once one's done, another one will immediately start. So, but you can kind of see when one starts and the other stops. Recently, in order to improve my skills as a beloved broadcaster and entertainer, uh, I, w I visited a, a communication consultant I, I found in the Yellow Pages. Here, I think we have the ad right there. Uh, here on videotape now is some of what I learned when I paid a visit to Dr. Do Lang. I thought maybe if you could help me work on may yeah. maybe my, my voice, my presentation, okay. my, my, as you mentioned, communication skills, my right. body language, yeah. if you will. And uh, we'll she looks like Shirley MacLaine. I don't, I don't remember some of these. I like when he goes out like with a video crew, and I think these are the funniest segments. Go from there. And I'll just I want to ask you a question. All right. When are you ever aware of being uncomfortable with people? I sense discomfort from the second my eyes open in the morning. But you I'm, do? Until I doze off at night. Now I'm going to show you how important it is for you to really be aware of what your body is telling you. All right. You know what my body was telling me what Tuesday was night? <laughs> Lay off the Mexican food. Uh -huh. That's another one for you. Right. You okay. use alcohol yourself? Just a second. Uh, Would you just do the I don't care swing? The Japanese love this. I don't care. I don't care louder. I don't care. I don't care. Let your arms wrap around. Would you try that? Well, I, you know, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let me say this, all right? Some people think well. Put on a little music. Some people think well. Okay, uh -huh. now just resist as hard as you can, okay? Mm -hmm. Stood on like bull. Mm -hmm. Okay, now put it down and think of something unpleasant, but don't tell me what it is. <laughs> no, what happened? That was Willard Scott again. <laughs> Now, supposing something... Now, let me wrong. interrupt here. Yeah. Do me a favor. Right. As hard as you can, hit yeah. me in the stomach. Go ahead. We're, we're on, here. Right here. here. Just, okay. No, right here. Hard as you can. Don't hold back. No, hey, there'll be a <laughs> suit so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ross, have you got those two um, sample test Hurry up, items? Ross. Thank you. Get in here, Ross. <laughs> All right. All right, now look, <clears throat> David, I want to look a little bit unpleasant. Thanks very much. Great. Why don't you just take your time next time, all right? <laughs> this, this is no picnic, pal. I'm sorry, Ross. He was just kidding around. <laughs> now, oh, I want you to watch me for a second. You blind. <laughs> all right, so what's next? First of all, where do you breathe from? Oh, your nose. Anybody knows that. Actually, no. You breathe from down here. Right there. So if you, if we... Well, then let me open my fly. If we open that, and you can go, not the fly, just the dark. Here, the wood. Just the wood. Just the dark, you're not cutting out. there's witnesses in this room. Just open the belt. Anything you want, ma'am. Open it, open it. So it's not so tight. Like this? Yeah. Is that loose enough so you can breathe without right. cutting yourself in You check. Half? Check again. Is it loose Well, enough? I think you should open it up. Whatever you want. That's so you can expand it. Why don't you check it again? You know, I'm getting kind of lightheaded, frankly. Are you? All right, let's go on to something else. Wait a minute. If you're lightheaded... That means that you're getting more oxygen than you're used no, to. No, you're not getting enough. You're not getting enough blood to your brain. Oh, That's been the problem. No, no I ain't no. getting any blood to my brain. No, if you're lightheaded, it means you're getting more oxygen than no, you're no, used no, to. No, 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 That's not true. Yeah, it is true. That's true. If you're breathing, if you're getting too much oxygen, you can get lightheaded. No, yes, it is. no, it's because you're not getting enough oxygen. No. You're wrong. No, you're you wrong. Breathe very. <laughs> but if you're getting dizzy and loopy and lightheaded, that means you're not getting. Your brain is being deprived Would of you, oxygen. It doesn't mean that. Would you pinch here for a second? Because sure. this effect right there on your right there, yeah. that will stop the lightheadedness, I promise. Yeah. Oh, I'm better now. Okay. Yeah. So Can you it, have someone drive me will... home? Well, you've been a big help. And I want, and I want to thank you for extending your hospitality to uh, myself and my wonderful crew and, uh, of course, the uh, cameraman, uh, Barry and Brian and Glenn and Amy and Maria and it's George a nice little and family, really. Paul and Steve. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you really made us all feel wonderfully at home. Tom broke off. Thank you for the experience. It's a pleasure. pleasure meeting you. We don't know. We have no idea. We have no, we have no idea. We have no idea. What now it's going to go right into the next clip. <laughs> all right, here's our first little Halloween item. Cheerleader uh, for child. A little suit there. Have your mom shoot the clerk and take the costume home. <laughs> Uh, here we have the inflatable adult shower costume. Now look, there's, there's a little warning down here at the bottom. Can you get right in there tight on that warning? Silly. Not to be used as a life preserver. Imagine the humiliation as the lifeguard fishes your lifeless body out of the sea. 
It's a dumb costume. Wearing a shower costume. Ah, uh, let's see. Nerd specs. And there's a little warning there. It says, uh, do not study or operate heavy equipment while wearing these specs. <laughs> look, look out. There's a nerd operating that bulldozer. <laughs> Here's a little AT&T hard hat. It's the AT&T helmet. I'll be around tomorrow to trick or tweet sometime between nine and five. <laughs> I think I actually said trick or tweet. I believe I, I believe I might have said tweet in there. Oh, that Vidal Sassoon has got my blood boiling. I'll start my own line of hair care products and bury them. Here's the uh, baby lamb toddler. This is delicious. And by the way, I think this is what Paul Perdome is preparing later. The, oh. We're going to be having the baby lamb toddler. <laughs> Realistic and temporary tattoos. <laughs> oh, sure. Sure, they, they look great on those professional models, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Paul, get back to your station. I've been confronted. Oh, yeah. Leave Waddy alone and oh, get yes. back where you belong. Just get over there. Yeah, I know. Waddy. Uh, here's the vinyl pirate dress up set. That reminds me, Paul, over the weekend, vinyl pirates broke into my car and pried off the dashboard. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where's it? Right here. Uh, here we have the uh, giant hands, the giant feet. And as you can see there in the tiny print, they're made in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Ours is a small country. We produce papaya, jute, and big rubber feet. <laughs> Thank goodness my back didn't go out. Here we have the desert combat fighter. And you know, surprisingly, a couple of Iraqi divisions actually surrendered to this kid. <laughs> actually, it actually happened there during... Yeah, this must have been early 90s, the Persian Gulf War. The big desert storm. Come on, play me out of here. I don't know. We, we thought we would show you some of the fine first-run programming you missed on, on other uh, television outlets. Uh, right. For example, the USA Network's Inside Hollywood treated viewers to this exclusive footage from the honeymoon of Liz Taylor and Larry Fortensky. <laughs> Uh, while the series was on CBS, ABC took the opportunity to air a new episode of Knight Rider in which Kit the talking car is replaced by a bus full of barking dogs. Uh, World Series viewers also missed this eye-opening NBC miniseries, Willard, The Early Years. Yeah, that's gross. Before the big uh, Dynasty reunion show, ABC aired this informative special, The Making of Joan Collins' Skin. Yeah. Also on NBC was the pilot episode of uh, the hit series Matlock that originally featured the folksy backwoods lawyer who just loved to dance. Uh, over there on uh, PBS, uh, the science show Nova took viewers into the future to give them a glimpse of Ted Kennedy's nose in the year 2000. Well, that's old. These are not, these are not very nice. No, they're not. Uh, most people were so wrapped up in the World Series, they missed this Barbara Walters interview with Norman Schwarzkopf, now retired and free to pursue his experiments with really powerful cough syrup. Wow. Uh, after his highly rated special on Al Capone's vault, Fox TV cameras followed Geraldo as he opened Mickey Rourke's long-sealed clothes hamper. <laughs> Mickey Rourke's long-sealed long clothes hamper. Man, mean. Entertainment Tonight featured this controversial videotape of Dick Sargent announcing he was gay. <laughs> no, one is, no one is quite sure what the charts meant. <laughs> In an attempt to lure hungry viewers from the World Series, the Weather Channel actually began highlighting weather maps with tasty chunks of fudge. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Monday on the show. Now, don't do that again. For some I reason, can't. I'm, a little I'm trying jumpy. to control it. I can't help try everything. Have you everything. done this? You hold your breath and just kind of rock your head back and forth? I tried that before the show. It didn't work. Did you drink a little water? 
Oh, stop it! I, I drank water, and I held my ears and drank water. It didn't work. Right. Did, did, did you thump yourself really hard on the end? Yeah, I tried and nothing? It. Did nothing you, like, Heimlich yourself? Listen, nothing seems to work on this. All right, but have you got them under control or not? <laughs> I thought I'd... Come here. Come here. I'm going to take care of them. Oh, he has the hiccups. Right. Come here. You, you cover for him while he's gone. Come here. I gotta put well, that's the guy from it's kind of get... Hello, nice to see you. Blues it Traveler. Was a lovely service, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> He's trying to cure him from the hiccups. Hiccups when you're asleep? I don't see how you could sleep with hiccups. I gotta see that one again. <laughs> Gave the bears. Mm. Okay, here's here's a dollar. Thanks for trying. <laughs> funny. Oh, that's, that's Gene Shalit. He was in that other joke. I remember this. Classic. <laughs> that was good. It's my type of humor. I just, it's silly, but it, yet it's very creative. I just like that type of humor. And that's what I liked about Letterman and a lot of the late night shows. Before it was just about, I mean, it was still political and topical and uh, trendy, but they also experimented with other just comedy segments. And I really appreciated that. that it was really funny and it was very creative.
I guess I'm more of a lowbrow than a highbrow type of person when it comes to sense of humor. But anyways, that was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Um, if you liked it, like the video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. Check out a lot of my other stuff, you know, see if there's something you like. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.